This is a meditation written by Saint Alphonsus Maria de Ligori, taken from the fifth volume of his ascetical writings, entitled The Passion and the Death of Jesus Christ. Jesus is crowned with thorns and treated as a mock king. When the soldiers had finished the scourging of Jesus Christ, they all assembled together in the praetorium and stripping his own clothes off him again in order to turn him into ridicule and to make him into a mock king they put upon him an old ragged mantle of a reddish color to represent the royal purple in his hand a reed to represent a scepter and upon his head a bundle of thorns to represent a crown but fashioned like a helmet so as to fit close upon the whole of his sacred head stripping him they put a scarlet cloak about him and plaiting a crown of thorns they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand and when the thorns by the pressure of their hands alone could not be made to penetrate deeper into that divine head which they were piercing with the self same reed and with all their might they battered down that barbarous crown and spitting upon him they took the reed and struck his head o ungrateful thorns do you thus torture your creator but what thorns what thorns you ye wicked thoughts of mine it is you that have pierced the head of my redeemer I detest O oh my Jesus and I abhor more than I do death itself the evil consent by which I have so often grieved thee my God who art so good but since thou dost make me know how much thou hast loved me thee alone will I love thee alone O oh my God how the blood is now streaming down from that pierced head all over the face and the breast of Jesus and thou my savior dost not even utter a complaint of such unjust cruelties thou art the king of heaven and of earth but now my Jesus thou art brought down so low as to appear before us a king of derision and of sorrows being made a laughing stock of all Jerusalem but the prophecy of Jeremiah had to be fulfilled that thou wouldst one day have thy fill of sorrows and shame he will give his cheek to the smiter he will be satiated with reproaches o jesus my love in time past i have despised thee but now i prize thee and i love thee with all my heart and i desire to die for love of thee but no These men for whom thou art suffering have not yet their fill of torturing and making game of thee and having thus tortured thee and dressed thee up as a mock king they bend their knee before thee and scornfully address thee hail to thee o king of the jews and then with shouts of laughter they deal out more blows upon thee thus rendering twofold the anguish of the head already pierced by the thorns and bowing the knee before him they derided him saying hail king of the jews and they gave him blows do thou at least go o my soul and recognize jesus for what he is the king of kings and lord of lords and return thanks to him and love him now that thou beholdest him become for love of thee the king of sorrows o my lord keep not in thy remembrance the griefs which i have caused thee i now love thee more than myself thou only dost deserve all my love and therefore thee alone do i wish to love i fear on account of my weaknesses but it is for thee to give me the strength to execute my desire And thou too O Mary must help me by thy prayers Amen